Hello and thank you for joining our DAS video series. Today we'll be covering the new improvements to our recent upgraded DAS, version 5.305. The new release provides improved loading speeds, better overall performance, as well as many new features. We'll cover these new features, which I'll break down into three categories, hotkeys, charts, and general configurations. Before we cover the new features, I'll quickly show you how to obtain the new version by simply going to Tools and hitting Upgrade. The software will take a few minutes to download the new version and will ask you to restart your DAS once it's complete. And once you're in, you can go to Help and About to confirm your current version of DAS. Hotkeys. First, I'll cover the new addition to the hotkey commands that are available to you. Go to Setup, then Hotkey to bring up your hotkey configuration window. I've already created the hotkey scripts for most of the new items, but I'll walk you through creating one just to show you how it's done. First, go to Add New Item, then click on the category which will bring up a list of subcategories that you can choose from. And by clicking on chart specific, you can see a list of hotkey items related to charts. For our example, I'll go to trend line and choose a new rectangle feature that was just added. Clicking on the command will bring up a description of what the command does in the right column here. I'll click on add script, which will populate it in the script field. And I'll give it a name and assign it a hotkey and click OK. Here you can see the hotkey I've just added as well as some of the new additions that I've created previously. And before you close out your hotkey window, remember to click on OK to save the changes that you've made. Now that I've created my script, I can move over to the chart and click on Control R, which readies my pointer to use the rectangle feature. And now I'll walk you through the rest of the scripts that were added. Anchor Hotkey. This hotkey will activate the anchor to link the montage to other windows. You start by holding a left click down on the montage, then hitting the hotkey. Note that the cursor is now activated so that you can drop it onto the target window. Vertical margins. We now have hotkey commands that you can decrease and increase your vertical margins on your chart. Show or hide all windows title bars. This command, when executed, will automatically remove all your titles on your windows. Executing it again will bring them back. Switch cover mode. This command will convert your order box to show only the action buttons that will liquidate your positions. The cover button will be located in the cell position if you're long, and move over to the buy location if you're short. Correspondingly, if you don't have any positions, no options to cover will be available. Cell cover command. This hotkey will exit the position for the ticker shown in the montage, regardless if it's a long or short. For our example, I'll load our long position in Chrome and hit the hotkey now. Notice that our position was liquidated at the market, leaving us flat. These were just our new hotkey script items since our last upgrade. But you can go to your hotkey script builder and browse through the category and subcategory menu items to see the countless script options that are available for use. Charts. Let's start with some improvements to the chart study window. To start, you can now bring up your study configuration window with this icon here. Note that you have to click on the chart area you wish to apply your study to first before you click on the study config button. Here, I'll go down the list and mention some of the improvements we've made to the various studies. We'll start first with the moving averages. By highlighting and clicking config, you'll see that we've added an up-down slope color to the moving average study. Next, we'll bring up pivot lines. Clicking on the config button, you'll see that we've added the option to exclude pre and post market data even though it's showing on the chart. Moving over to VWAP, clicking config, you can see that we've added an anchor period that you can now configure. Now looking at Keltner channels, we now offer the option to use exponential as well as simple moving averages in your configuration. And last for our studies, we've added a moving average pair which will allow you to configure arrows on moving average crossovers. Moving over to the chart itself, see we've added a price configuration to the horizontal line. Doing a right click, you can now input your price for more accuracy. Moving over to the bottom here, you'll now see that we have the day's total volume info displayed for our volume study. Doing a right click on a chart and selecting configure, we now have two additional options that you can use to help you configure your charts. We now have the option here to use the mouse wheel to scroll instead of zoom. And moving below that, you'll see the option of global trend lines. Placing a check mark here will allow you to have your trend lines show up on all charts with that particular symbol. See as I apply a trend line here on this chart and pull up a new chart 
enter the symbol, and you can see our trend line applied to this chart as well. For more information on how this new feature works and how to apply them, please see our video called Dash Trader Tips video on global trend lines. General configurations. Last, I'll take you around the platform to show you the new configurations to your platform and trading features. Going to the Trade tab, you can pull up your account report and find your day's trading information for all your accounts or just a specific one if you have more than one account that you manage. We've also added this button here, which will keep track of your day trades for those concerned with the PDT rule. Moving over to Quotes, we now have an item called Fundamentals, which, if you subscribe to the data feed, will deliver information on that specific company that you enter. Here you can see the fundamentals from Microsoft. And to bring up another symbol, just click on the title bar, enter a symbol, and hit enter. Next, moving over to setup and other configuration, we've added the option to change your window border color for active windows. Just to show you an example, I'll pick a very obvious color here. Now you can see that there's a very prominent color identifying the current selected window. Next, moving down to the account window, and doing a right click on a selected account, you'll see you have the option to update risk controls to your account. Please note that this option is only available for participating brokers or providers who allow it. With regards to your account, you also have the ability now to give it an alias to hide your actual account number. To do this, go down to the order box and do a right click and select trading settings. Going down to this area here, just highlight your account and input your alias name. Training accounts cannot be changed as they must start with TR. Going down to the orders window, we added a column called display. This will show you your display value if you're using reserve orders. As an example, I'll send an order for 500 shares, but display just 200. As the order is accepted, you'll see here that it shows our display amount of 200. Moving over to the montage, we've added quite a few options for information if you do a right click here. And we've also added a limit up, limit down pricing to give you an idea of what the various circuit breaker levels are for that stock. The level 2 will also reflect these limit up, limit down levels to the right of the bid and ask prices. The limit up level will be indicated with an H to the right of the ask, while a D will be shown to the right of the bid as it approaches the limit down price. Moving down to the trigger button here, I'd like to mention that DAS now allows options to be included in the trigger order feature. Last, we have the time and sales window. By going over and doing a right click, selecting configure, you can see a couple new options available for your configuration. Thank you for joining our DAS video series. Most, if not all of the improvements you've seen in this video were implemented by the request of users. DAS is always looking to improve our platform and cater to the needs of our traders. Any suggestions or comments can be sent to support at dastrader.com. Thanks again for joining us.